In this video we give a look at the new features and benefits of the Garmin 1040 device, that from my point of view, they are also a preview of what the new models of the 800 and 500 series may have when they are introduced. We will see what is new that we know about and that is not available in previous models in hardware, navigation, and maps, as well as training. Hardware The attachment system is now aluminum. Although it has not happened to me personally, I know of cases where the plastic base has broken and there is no way to repair it unless you send it in for direct service with Garmin. We will see whether this feature will be added to other Edge family devices or if it will only be in the 1040 models. Finally, a USB-C charging and data port has been added, so now battery charging times are significantly faster as well as data transfers. This change is something that has been expected from Garmin for a long time. In the solar model, three panels are added to charge the battery with solar energy as you ride, thus extending its duration, significantly in some cases. We have gotten up to 25 additional minutes of battery in two-hour rides carried out at noon in shiny days. Navigation and Maps In terms of navigation, the GNSS multi-satellite multi-band technology is added. According to the official Garmin documentation, in addition to the American system that we all know as GPS, it can now receive signals from the Russian GLONASS system, as well as from Galileo, the European satellite system. In each profile you use you can configure the level of precision you need from the three that are available. For mountain bikes, it has always been recommended to use a speed sensor to have better distance records, since we ride in wooded areas and with dense vegetation that can block or divert satellite signals. With multi-band GNSS systems this may no longer be necessary. Maps Worldwide preloaded free maps are now included that may be updated, free of charge, from the Garmin Express application in your computer. They include point of interest search and are enhanced to highlight the most popular roads and trails. Up ahead waypoints You can add waypoints with custom icons to a course created in Garmin Connect. As you navigate through it, you will see a forecast of the next waypoints and the estimated time to reach them. Training and performance Your cycling ability is generated based on your personal cycling records with which the device will try to define your cycling strengths and compare them with the demands of the route. In a course, a screen called Course Demands is created with information about the fitness that you must have in order to complete it in terms of aerobic and anaerobic capacity, as well as aerobic resistance. Power Guide if you have power data history and by configuring some preferences in the course, the device will help you control your pace on a ride by indicating the suggested intensity that you should apply in each section, being able to adjust the level of effort halfway depending on whether you feel stronger or prefer something less intense. Stamina helps you pace your ride by displaying your energy levels throughout the ride, so you have an idea of how much more you have available to finish the ride. In the summary of the route in the Connect application you will be able to see the behavior of your energy level during the activity. An updated and more user-friendly user interface, including better fonts, finer detail in charts, improved navigation between different options, Connect IQ widgets right on the home page, and a highly accessible activity summary page. There are some interesting amenities such as the option to control the music you are listening to from your cell phone just by touching the screen of the device. If you are one of those who likes to listen to music or follow a podcast while you ride, you can control everything from the handlebars. With each firmware update, new options and features only available for this model have been added. It is foreseeable that some of these new options will be added into the 800 and 500 series when they are introduced. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to be notified of new videos that we will continue to publish on how to use your GPS bike computer.